we got another jumping spider, although in slightly different circumstances to normal. Watch this video to find out how we got her and why. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodapods, I'm David and today we're talking about our new jumping spider Miku. Now it's a bit of an unusual situation here, we weren't planning on getting another jumping spider, but we did and I thought I'd explain why, show, introduce her to you, show you her enclosure and just talk a little bit about what happened. Now if you like this sort of content please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, it does help the channel especially with YouTube the way it is right now. So firstly let's talk about the circumstances surrounding why we got Miku. Now we used to have a jumping spider called Hera, she was part of my enclosure battle, we were quite attached to her very quickly, she was a very cute personality, but sadly what happened is what, not long after she arrived she started molting and it was a miss mole and I know these things happen, we tried everything we could to save her, we followed every single recommendation and step but it wasn't to be and it's suspicion that she may have been in pre-molt she wasn't here very long but you know you still get attached to these little guys and it was quite sad so what I did is I contacted the place where we got um, Hera from and they were very sympathetic very understanding they offered to send us uh, Miku who we named her and you know I, and I was quite surprised I only really approached them for a bit of advice but to get this offer I was like yeah why not you know why shouldn't we get another jumpy spider so we cleaned out Hera's enclosure we binned a lot of the um, bits in there because we felt it was a bit I don't know, it felt a bit weird to keep them and just in case there was anything going on there, changed it all up and then themed it completely differently. And so far Miku's setting in completely well, you know, she's made a web already which we're really pleased about. She's going to hopefully have her first meal today and she's enjoying exploring her enclosure. So what I went for enclosure theme wise was a sort of oriental bonsai garden theme with like a little dragon, uh, a bonsai tree, uh, a little well, I've got a cauldron in there because I, I felt like she needed a hide and I've got some other leaves and stuff arriving but I wanted to make it very different from um, hair as apart from the spirits so I needed to keep them because I thought they were very cute and as sad as it is you know it is nice to have um, Miku filling that space because it felt like there was a gap in the room that we needed to fill and yeah you know I thought I'd just do a quick video just sort of like shouting out that it was really nice this company to do this I wouldn't expect it a lot of companies would have just been like mm, whatever and just also just introduce you to Miku as well because I like to do these introduction videos so you can see the setups we do the sort of spot inverts we have I am going to do a video sort of talking through the whole I don't want to call it collection I call it a swarm because they don't feel like collectibles to me they're living creatures the whole swarm introducing to everyone got loads of other ones coming up so yeah stay tuned for them too so guys, that's it, just a very brief video, sort of filling you in on what happened to Hera, introducing you to Miku, showing off our enclosure. Any questions, comments, always happy to hear from you down below. But in the meantime, from me and the Swarm, take care and see you later.